you want to go to central London for New Year's Eve, that is a bad idea. Hello everybody, how are you doing and welcome to a new video. If you are watching for the very first time, my name is Sandy, I do travel and London videos and you are very welcome at my channel. Please do not forget to subscribe that would be awesome. So uh, you guys actually sent me some messages here or there about Sandy can you make a video about what to do in London for New Year's I'm coming or I live here and I don't really know what to do. This video is my personal experience. I've been living in London for almost 10 years so I feel like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm gonna split this video into London Eye Fireworks versus Alternatives. And let me start with, if you want to go to central London for New Year's Eve, that is a bad idea. <laughs> I understand it sounds a little bit harsh, but I do kind of believe that is true. So let's start with central London and the London Eye fireworks. I do understand that this might be why you're coming to London and you really want to see them. And your plan is to just go a little bit further to avoid the crowds. But what you do need to understand is that the crowds are everywhere. The entire pretty much zone one, well not quite as big, but you know an area around the London Eye that you cannot imagine will be filled with millions and millions of people. So going away a little bit further and watching it from there is going to be impossible. I tried it two to three years in a row and I had a horrible experience every time because of overcrowding, police, you know, drunk people, and you're actually missing the fireworks because you're still queuing, crowding somewhere. And in the end you hear them, but you're really far away. And then it takes you an hour or two to get out of the crowds and there's police everywhere and you're missing the entire New Year's Eve. So seeing it from a bit further away is not a good idea. And if you're saying, I don't care, I still want to go and try and see it from far away, then my number one tip is go early. Go at like 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, bring lots of warm clothes. Be prepared to not get home anytime before 4 a.m. That's what I can say. If you still want to go into central London and you don't want to go early and you're like, I'm going to be fine, the good news for you is that the tube is actually free on New Year's Eve completely. So at least that is good. Do not take a taxi. I tried that one year. I missed midnight. I was in the taxi at midnight. It was also very good. The best way to see the fireworks at the London Eye is to get a ticket, but they are sold out now for this year. Sorry, I should have maybe made this video a little bit earlier, um, but I'll put the link down below so you can, you know, maybe get some for next year. And now this is where we get to my personal recommendations. There's two versions, I would say. There is the splash the cash version and the budget version. Let's start with the splash the cash version. I've done it once in 10 years. I did splash a lot of cash. So there are restaurants, bars, hotels, in and around London that have a good view of the London Eye. So Madison or Obliques restaurant, anything that's high from where you can kind of see the London Eye or the fireworks. Any of these will offer New Year's Eve menu and group bookings and things like that. And I did it once and I went to Madison and I spent maybe, maybe paid like 200 pounds for my ticket. That's excluding drinks and food but I had a great time and I saw the fireworks without crowds or without, you know, police and being scared for my life. Was it worth it? Probably not, but if you are a fan of the whole, you know, experience and if you maybe have a little bit more money, check out if there's still some places left. And now the budget version, which is my version, which is the way I love to spend New Year's Eve. It's at home in London. <laughs> now you're gonna be like, Sandy, I'm traveling to London. I don't have a home. Um, I know. So before we go to sort of what you can do if you have a home, if you don't have a home, pubs, best way to spend it or local restaurants or you know in your friend's flat or maybe you're visiting someone or if you have a cool airbnb stay at home and do watch the fireworks there and obviously if you're staying at home like me I'm gonna spend it with friends buy a bottle of Prosecco buy some sparklers if you're staying in a pub or if you're staying with friends 
I swear to you the London Eye fireworks will be on the telly, uh, that's TV, and you will be able to see them at midnight when everyone's seeing them together. They will be on every TV and it'll, you will still be in London whilst you're seeing it and you'll be surrounded by friends and you'll have such a good time. And I have also written a blog post on my website about the whole topic with all the links and some restaurant recommendations for you to check out. The link is down below so you can check it out there. Merry Christmas! It's just before Christmas and Happy New Year if we don't see each other before but I think we will. I'm just editing a few more videos and I'm also going to vlog in Germany. Um, that video is going to go live after Christmas though I think. Anyway thanks for watching and I hope you have an amazing new year. I will see you very soon. Bye bye.